is house dance and why do I care? I care because I'm a house head which means I love the music and I love the culture, house music culture. I just so happen to love to dance to it. I find a creative element in what I do with movement while house music is playing. That's why I care. I made this video because I woke up this morning and I was tagged on Facebook by a few friends in response to a couple of posts. And you may recognize them by the ones that are playing here on the screen. Uh, as being whack or uh, super whack even. I decided to make this video because I would like to ask you to think of things a little bit differently and try to think of things a little bit more positively because whenever the online flame starts to get fanned and we see these super you know, whack and not legit type things happening. The sense of hating is just beyond imaginable. And I have to always go back to my humble beginnings to realize what got me into dance and what inspired me. And if we had the equivalent of what inspired me to dance in a YouTube two minute how to clip today, a lot of people would be like, yo, what is this corny stuff? I have to always remember what inspired me and what got me to where I am today. Why does it even matter my opinion? Well, I'm just somebody who cares. And if you know who I am, you may hold an opinion of me in which you care about my opinion. And therefore, the power of your opinion and my opinion combined, we form a really powerful opinion. And that a lot of the times is what we like to call culture. So this culture now is no longer just house music culture. This culture of house and dance is now a culture of house dance culture. And it is different from the culture that I was raised in. There's nothing wrong with it. But we have to remember that there is people who aren't a part of house music culture and who aren't a part of house dance culture. And there's actually, believe it or not, a tremendous amount of people who are into house dance culture who are not into house music culture at all. So here's where the positivity is coming from. When I see these clips, I see buzzwords, bounce, good feelings, energy, feet moving around, smiling. These buzzwords, these buzz emotions, these key things that I see in the videos, they describe the feeling that I get in house music culture. And consequently, they also describe the feeling that I get when I see house dance culture. What I'm trying to say is, these videos aren't quite as bad as they seem to be. Corny is a matter of opinion. Legitimate, again, a matter of opinion. Okay, let's take my man Jardy Santiago. A lot of people would consider what he's doing to be legit and not even a little bit corny. They would actually say it's super dope. And I would agree, he is dope and people think what he's doing is legit and dope because number one, Jardy can dance. The dude is dope. I grew up with him dancing here in the Bay Area. He can really dance. That by virtue of comparing him to some of these other clips where the people aren't quite as skillful in their movement and their execution of dance and or movement makes Jardy seem much more legit by what he's doing because he's better at it. But you might say, ah, oh, Koflo, he's also giving you real culture and real history. Those are real steps. Yeah, they are real steps from his teachers and whether his teachers made up those steps or were influenced and taught those steps by their teachers or other dancers means that what we have now is style applied to dance. This means that it's a culture or an approach, a lineage of dance, which makes it legit to that lineage. While I, with a different group of teachers, a different upbringing, and also somebody who's perpetuating and teaching these things, have something else, a different lineage, a different style. Are you to say that my way of dancing to house music, my style of dance is less legit than Jardy's style of dance? I would say no. Both styles could be considered legit, just like we could consider the less skillful styles that we see in these tutorial videos as, you know, to some degree legit. But then you also might be saying, well, Koflo, 
you also have history and culture. These other videos don't have any of that. Now, what you have to think about is your humble beginnings. And I think back to how I started. I wasn't so lucky to find dance by being passed down a particular lineage or style of dance in the formally educated way, a la dance culture. The truth of the matter is, is that no matter how legitimate or not legitimate, it absolutely inspired me to dance. It absolutely got me into something where I decided because of the passion that I had for it to continue my education and continue to seek out style in dance as well as grow amongst my community here in the Bay Area where the house music community and the club culture community was something that does define me and is who I am today. What I'm getting at here is that you don't know what kind of impact these super cheesy clips are gonna have. And yeah, I dance because I'm a creative person and I've studied different dance approaches, be it styles or theories. And I do this as a higher art form for my creative self. So I do look at these videos and I do see the poor technical application, but I also understand the value and the exposure that they may give to the next little co-flow that wants to learn and make things happen. And to wrap things up, I wanna make it very clear that even though I feel like you can dance however you want to house music, I don't wanna take away from style and dance because style and dance means that there is lineage and respect and there is legacy as a part of a cornerstone or a section of dance culture. What I mean by that is I don't want to take away from all the hard work, dedication, passion, and massive wealth of experience that the dancers before me who have either codified these dance moves, came up with these ideas, or have just simply passed on these dance moves, these ideas, and so on from teacher to student and then student now teacher and teacher now student and student teacher student teacher etc these people are vital to our culture i'm a teacher i'm also a student i want to make sure that what i have to offer continues to be passed on because i have information that's came from those before me and i develop my own opinions that i think are also very valid that i want those passed on to others these clips may be corny on the outside but let's remember the value and the purpose that being able to expose somebody new to a culture and to a particular way of life and expression that isn't just the normal rat race, what kind of value that may add. Hate because you wanna crack jokes, I always crack jokes, but at the end of the day, real recognize real. And ask yourself, are you doing any better to inspire anybody else with your dance?